हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल लाइट अप नॉलेज एंड वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू टूडेज वीडियो आई होप यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल कवर अनदर लिटरेरी डिवाइस दैट इज पोनरिज्म इट इज अ लिटरेरी डिवाइस व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन द प्ले ऑफ वर्ड सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो there is a separate playlist of literary forms and devices on my channel the link of which will be available in the description box without any further ado let's get started let us understand spoonerism the term spoonerism comes from william archibald spooner who was notorious for making verbal slips so the term was coined after the surname of william archibald and he had this reputation of uh, making uh, you know uh, he had a very bad reputation notorious means having a bad reputation and he had a bad reputation for making verbal slips um what is a verbal slip verbal slip is uh, when you uh, speak a word or group of words uh, with different uh, syllable which it is uh, you know the literal meaning is not the same but the purpose is to create humor they are words or phrases in which letters or syllables get swapped so basically it consists of a transposition means exchange between the consonant sound uh, especially you can say the initial sound of two words um and uh, this practice you know this practice uh, uh, is uh, to give a very uh, humorous effect uh, or you can say it gives us a comic effect okay if you see this example here a pack of lies become a lack of pies okay a pack of lies is a collective noun and when you use a spoonerism to it you add spoonerism to this group of word it can become a lack of pies which uh, actually sounds very funny what is this a lack of pies right so that creates humor the purpose of spoonerism is to create humor um i can give you uh, another example like the queer old dean okay and um, the queer old dean this in this group of words spoonerism is used and the actual um, words are the dear old queen this is the most famous example which is uh, used by him so he was very notorious he often used uh, spoonerism in his um, speech and therefore the purpose was to create intentional uh, verbal slips which actually contributed to um, creating humor in a piece of uh, writing so writers often use um, spoonerism to add a humor or a comic effect to the piece of writing let us have a look at some examples of spoonerism not only we will read these examples we will um, also comprehend its meaning and uh, we will observe that how the exchange of consonants or syllable can create a very beautiful humorous effect which is a literal device based on the play of words the first one is it's roaring with pain it's roaring with pain so here the two vowels uh, the, the two consonants are exchanged r and p and the the correct one would be it's pouring with rain it's pouring with rain the next example is wave the sail so here you can clearly observe that there is exchange of w and s and the correct would be save right save the whales next example is fighting a liar fighting a liar right so the correct would be exchanging f and l lighting a fire a blushing crow a blushing crow and the correct one would be exchanging b and c together a crushing blow a crushing blow next is you hissed my mystery lecture you hissed my mystery lecture snake hisses right it's really funny so the correct one would be you missed my history lecture you missed my history lecture the next one is chewing the door how can one chew the door right so the correct one would be exchanging dns and the real uh, the correct one would be doing the chores chores means daily tasks so yes guys that was all for today's video i hope you enjoyed watching it and you found it useful if you did please like share and subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon so that you can get regular updates of the videos that i upload keep learning and keep growing